I'm Charles Passioni. I'm a pre-med student here at Sarah Lawrence College, but I'm also interested in Buddhist philosophy and music. Um, I began meditating when I was 12 years old. I've been a violinist since I was five. Music was always a therapy or a therapeutical way to uh, de-stress and to calm my mind. And due to that, I uh, became aware of meditation's um, way to use sound to calm the mind and calm the body. And so I was, as a violinist, it was easy for me to move into mantra meditation, which uh, predominantly had to deal with using sound and chanting. Sarah Lawrence has a great understanding of how knowledge shouldn't be taught linearly, but should be taught cyclically. A Sarah Lawrence education, you have the teacher sitting with the students in a round table. So it makes knowledge, it transforms knowledge. I was also att attracted to the way in which Sarah Lawrence blends um, the studies that they offer. Because he can take music as well as science and his physics and other courses, and he meets with his professors one to one, he can really go in depth in his whatever he's interested in. I know Charles can take lessons that he learns from playing the violin about how to approach music, about how to think about the interplay between rigorous technique and creative expression and apply it to things that he does with science. Charles is doing a senior thesis on a project in which he's taking his knowledge of meditation techniques. Uh, he's actually gotten permission from physicians at, at a local hospital to work with, with groups of patients, both in, as a group and individually, uh, using guided meditations which he composes and has them go through body scans and assessing their needs in terms of preparing for surgery and in the aftermath of surgery. I think Charlie's med guided meditation groups are so valuable. Since I've started coming to them, I really have more of an idea of where to focus my mind. Well, there is so much interest just now in um, the study of mindfulness and meditation and he's, he's coming to the study of medicine um, at a time where it's changing rapidly um, and in a direction that he, he will be able to make a, a contribution. My advice for incoming students is to explore. You can question uh, what you're passionate about. So the great joy in teaching Charles is that he's a renaissance man.